Okay. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we peewees live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piners, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Oh, it's jabble, by the way. It's not jabbies. But before we go in there, let's get this. An in coupon. <laughs> Look, he's jumping in the background. Okay, um, the in coupon... It's one of the things you might want to throw, but just nice to have it now we can. Uh, what else did I have to point out? I don't know if we really need to do this now, but I'm going to. Just to save us all the work. Go up here. Uh, we're gonna do it now, just so we can get it over with, get this level done faster when we're ready. First, hit this. Oh, hello. Get that. Get out, cutes. I'm actually just gonna get cute right now, but okay. Watch out for him. Because we already have all this tattle done, so. Use coops to get the shine sprite. That's the only one in this level. But, um, the level, I think there's two parts per level, like a dungeon and the actual level. And, uh, the dungeon in this level, or, well, there is a dungeon, will be the Great Tree. Which is, I don't know, it's just like I got the idea how people separate the two. This is a nice little tree. Uh, I can imagine having this place to go look around at. But still, the scenery around it is still horrible. Okay, right here is a badge. The FP Plus. If you have enough... Uh, actually, we're going to do a battle, a couple battles to get our uh, XP up later. So we can just use that. But that is a nice one to have. Uh. Oh no, what's the matter? Oh, uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh. Um. Hmm. Got it. So we're going to follow you. Ah, get over here. I'm going to beat you here. Nah, 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 nah. Yes, I beat you there. That was cool. Long ago, the Pewdie Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We could get it, get it through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, the problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry wart, but how the heck... How in the heck are we going to find somebody's secret entrance? <laughs> well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. But removing normal thingy sounds tough enough. Let me, let alone an invisible one. Uh, oh, got it. Flurry. Sure, Madame Flurry's powers could help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this. She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Gloria lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back to the direction we came from. Uh, yes. We are not going to the left corner. If one who says we have to do that is a fool, we are going to the right corner. Uh, well, Cutty Guy pointed out, so. Ah, uh, these woods are the most wonderful in the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here, which is the finest I ever I ever did have. Oh my yes. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Touch peace. This that, that negative image of the real world smooths my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flory, grow even more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little puties that live in the street are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and muscle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as we speak. Already I feel the need for drama. The moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. I'm me. Sure, I was born to be an actress of the stages. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage come back, 
I must simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! God, I tell you, my, my... And we are going... Oh, wait, no, we're not. Episode's still going. Okay. So, actually, right now, we're going to go find her and see what's wrong. Straight trees are so much better up here, but anyway. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. So we go over here. And... Since we got this thing, uh, longer in the last episode, just go ahead and get on. If you don't make it longer, you are not going to be able to fly there. Go to the very edge if you have trouble flying, because you're not very good at it, so... You can make it. Me. This badge right here. The Quake Hammer! This is actually a really good one to put on because you can attack all the enemies at once. Uh, but it's still not that powerful. It's kind of average power. Just like multi bounce. But it's a little better than multi bounce because it's easier. We got a star piece in that tree! Okay. Uh, I need to blow it out. Please need multiple clouds because I don't want to have to sit there. Yeah, there we go. Tattle on this one. Just board off my foot. That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. Max HP is three, attack is two, defense is zero. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Yowch. You know what I mean, right? Shocking. After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. But beat it as fast as you can. Whoa, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, oh there we go. So, it's not that bad. I mean, I'll oh, use. No, that's, that's not it. Okay. I get multi bounce and power bounce confused, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You got four star points. Stupid star points. Stupid hippie star points. Look, they're in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. Uh, let's go with better than this. You know what I was actually playing with you? I was playing a bunch of, like, different characters. There you go. Uh, I don't want to hear what you say, Rubella. Shut up. So, we're going to go over here. I was playing these different characters for all the cutscenes, and check out it, because it will change the cutscenes slightly. But, oh well. Who cares? Uh, let's go to Flurry's place. Uh, excuse me. Uh, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Eh, considering it's part of the long... Well, I'll say it's not that big. Uh, what's this one? Madam Flurry, hello? If you're here, say something. Eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. That darling swishy little footsteps. Is that you, Pewdio? Oh, it's been an age since I've seen you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem with that uh, only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree entry hole is blocked. There's a stupid door we can't seem to open. My, my puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. We can't find the secret entrance for us. We're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Pewdio. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a mind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow, what's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect like I dropped it on my daily constitutional. It'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I must, I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have a necklace to my highlight, my beauty. And that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I am all about, 
I am all about accessories. Hey, wait a sec. You lost your necklace? I'm having a deja vu big time, I swear. Someone sa said it, just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke. You guys have a clue as to where my necklace is whereabouts. If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear and find me and bring it back to me. If you could, it'd be, I'd be delighted to switch your little friend Junio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario will find your necklace. He word, he's super. You can do it, Mar right, Mario? No. Let's go. Great. It's decided. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Okay, um, this is way past our time limit, so. Um, in the next episode, which will be coming tomorrow, by the way. I don't feel like uploading today. Uh, we will. Uh, I don't know. We'll just do it in the next episode. Get the necklace back. Whatever. The end. Thanks for watching. Quick. In the episode.